Let's crack, let's code with KidBright. Part 3. Connecting external sensors. Automatic watering machine. This plant, we have to water it every day. If we're not home, who's going to water the plants? Let's have KidBright do it. The automatic watering machine command condition is, if the soil is dry, do turn on USB to power the water pump for five seconds before powering off. We must have a sensor that detects how dry the soil is. We can search on the internet. We want to search for moisture sensor. Now all the basic equipment is ready to be used. It's a comparator used for converting digital signals. The sensor will read values using electricity. Then the comparator will convert the read value to be 0 and 1 so that the board can understand. Start from powering the sensor by connecting the USB cable to the 5 volt port and to ground. This is to let electricity run through the whole circuit. Then connect the signal cable to the input port. As usual, we'll specify the values of dryness and humidity first. Use the previous set of commands. The new block added is the read input status command block. Where is the input command located? It is in the I.O. tab, which stands for input and output. Use the sensor to measure the dryness of soil that we know needs watering. What is the value now? 1. Set the dryness value to be 0. That is considered dry. Turn the comparator until the value is zero. Now we have set the value. Use the set value and let's start coding. Start with the forever and if do command blocks. At the if command block, connect the comparing values command block. Insert the read status input one command block. The sign is already correct. Just take the zero block. At the do command block, insert the write USB status on command block. How do we make it work for only five seconds and then stop? Go to the basic tab and take the delay command block to connect with the other blocks. Change the value of delay time to be five seconds. Then insert the write USB status off block. When everything is done, press build a program. OK, let's set up the watering machine. OK, let's see if it works. Oh, I forgot to give a time for the pump to work. So I have to fix the command code. Just like this, any experiment can have a mistake. We all have to keep learning how to do it until it is okay. Yay! Let's crack, let's code with KidBright.